How much did the DTF transfer cost? Well, that's a question we get all the time. And it's not a simple answer. Has the printer been optimized for a specific shirt color? Are you printing on a white shirt or a black shirt? How much of the image is transparent? What size is the graphic? How much of the graphic is darker colored? There are countless factors that play into the cost of a printed transfer, but we'll give you a general rule of thumb for factoring your materials cost. The film, the ink, and the powder. We're also going to look at how much a color knockout could save you, and how much Digital Factory 11's variable white underbase is already saving you, if you're using it. We printed this leopard graphic on a 10 inch by 10 inch piece of film. The graphics pixels account for 64% of the total pixels in the image. 36% are transparent. We printed this on the Mamaki TXF 300-75 DTF printer, and we used Digital Factory 11 with our DTF Superstore Dark Garment print mode, which uses variable white underbase. All of the costs were figured as retail plus tax and shipping. On the film, we calculated 25% loss. On the powder, 20%. And on the ink, we factored 5% loss. Now, before you jump in the comments that the ink number is too small, the Mamaki uses substantially less ink for maintenance functions than Epson i3200 base printers. The film costs $0.0024, or a quarter of a cent per square inch. The ink costs average roughly 14 cents per milliliter, and the powder costs 7 cents per gram. I printed my graphic and compared the weight of it to the same size blank film, and we got a total ink weight of 1.96 grams. The milliliter to gram conversion is a little tricky, but the inks are roughly one gram per one milliliter. Then I powdered it and weighed it again, and the powder that was added was 2.51 grams. So, for this 10 by 10 graphic with 64% coverage, the film used cost 24 cents, the ink cost 27 cents, and the powder cost 18 cents. This adds up to a total cost of 69 cents for the graphic. For a quick estimate of the cost per square inch for your prints, you can use approximately 0.7 cents. To calculate the cost of a specific size graphic, simply multiply 0 0.007, which represents 0.7 cents in dollars, by the square inches of the graphic. This will give you the cost in dollars. Now we've been talking about how much better Digital Factory 11 is than just about any other RIP software, specifically because of the variable white underbase. Well, we tested it. We used standard white underbase settings on the same graphic and it used 41% more ink and 15% more powder for a grand total of 83 cents, 16.7% more than the variable white underbase. If you printed 100 of these graphics, you'd be saving $14 by printing with variable white underbase. Then I got thinking about how much doing a color knockout would save. Now, the big asterisk is depends on the situation and graphic, but in this case, I'm gonna knock out the black color. With the black color knocked out, our graphic coverage dropped to 34%, so now 64% of it's transparent. Ink usage was 48% less, and powder is 42% less for a total cost of just 49 cents, 30% less than no color knockout with variable white underbase. If you printed 100 shirts, you'd save $20 simply by knocking out the black color. I hope you can see how complicated this question is to answer. And I hope we gave you a good idea of the materials cost involved in printing on the Mamaki DTF printer. If we did, do me a favor and like the video and subscribe.